22 years old. Our second featherweight quarterfinal on ring B this evening. Up against him, the second seed from Uganda. Just 20 years old, Isaac Masembe, the silver medalist last year's African Games. And uh, he was actually the first African Games finalist in boxing from Uganda for 20 years, along with middleweight David Semuju. And Masembe, high hopes that he will move a step closer to Tokyo 2020. Once again, it's uh, youth being served. Matewa, 22. Uh, Masembe, second seed, just 20. Matewa survived uh, a, a, a scare with his uh, Botswana team. They had a bug that went through them last week, and it was uh, serious. He looked pretty good last night. He looked like uh, no yeah. problems. He did look good. He uh, stopped Felix Mendes Jr. of Guinea-Bissau. It was interesting. He's talked about his training in the run-up. He said, I was in France, Cuba, and Hungary and had really good training. We were taught a lot of things that most African boxers are not familiar with. Um, he said, we know it's been a long time since we were at the Olympics 2012 for Botswana. This team is made up of many juniors. Our best place to make sure Botswana gets back to the Olympics. So country very much on his mind. Yeah, and... As we've said, if he wins this, he's just one win away from achieving that dream of uh, restoring Botswana to Olympic boxing. And we're underway. Matewa, the southpaw stance in the red. Masembe, orthodox left lead. Remember, the winner gets all caught in the semis yeah. tomorrow night. So you've seen what he can do, and you get to assess his semifinal opponent right here, right now. Matewa was impressive yesterday, but uh, this is a step up, no doubt. The African Games silver medalist and second seed from Uganda. But uh, Matewa just edging the early exchanges. Masembe still trying to find his range. And uh, getting through now. The Uganda fans in the crowd making plenty of noise. And Masembe is responding. Well, we saw him... Uh, a master in the later rounds. He's quick. Taylor fires back. Masembe, who we saw yesterday get the better of try again, morning in Velo. Midway through the first round, and it's Maitewa's turn to land. Boxer's is settling down now, and uh, Asembe getting in and out. That was a good right from Maitewa. That one scored, and the combination yes. again from the man from Botswana. Masembe responds. And already the makings of a good close Very contest. Very close fight. One minute to go in round one. You can hear the Ugandan Vuvuzelas. A nice little flurry from Masembe. Oh, my tail are coming yes, back. right back. Some of these punches not really landing all that cleanly and so this is a difficult one to score Maitewa in the red Masembe in the blue Good right from Maitewa oh that was a good combination there from He's, Masembe Masembe's closing the round well oh that's a good left from Maitewa though so yep. both and a good left from Maitewa as well. Some of those just missed it. Looked like he had a clear. That, that didn't. That didn't. And there goes the bell. Well. Close. Very close. 
so close. I'm going to try and run down the clock before the judges' scorecards come up. Uh, I'm going with the, <laughs> I'm going with the second seed, Masembe. Okay. I'm. I'll go with my Taywa. Now, I, I don't think either one is going to get all five. But if I do, then there'll be some talk about. I'll <laughs> tell you all about it. <laughs> Just seeing some of the highlights. No, Maybe Masembe. There was. He did land a couple of fine combinations, but it was a close first round. Three to Maitewa and two to Masembe. That's what we kind of figured. Yeah. Uh, I just went the other way just to, to have something to. Yeah, talk you went about. first. You went first there. I did. I did. So that takes away my I argument I did of going think, the other way. I, I did think Maitewa. But, but it's so just, close. It's three really two. close. It's, three yeah. to two. Doesn't all to play for. Yeah. And as we've discussed, so much at stake. The winner. Just one win away from a place at Tokyo 2020. Masembe on the attack at the start of round two, but Maitewa countering. Oh, they are in it to win it here. There is just a flurry back and forth. Yeah, it's Masembe just on top in the early exchanges, and he's oh, getting yeah. through again. Yeah. And uh, I think he's hurt Maitewa there. First round was close, but Masembe has come out strongly in this second round. He has. He's been told he to keep the head up. right back in. Just setting up. i tell you what, I has been backed off a little bit. A lot of misses in that first few seconds, but Matewa didn't miss there. Masembe responds. Um, oh, that's a good yeah, shot yeah. from Masembe. And the referee inside of the glove. I, I think we've just seen a few too many interruptions for that because, okay, it happens. You can't, Let's just get on. Yeah, right. They don't, it's not really necessary. They want to hit with the front part of the glove. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was a good shot yeah. from Maitewa. Masembe felt that, but he's straight back into it. Yeah. Oh, oh, good right from Masembe. Oh, this is cla this is class. This is on like Donkey yes. Kong. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> good right from Maitewa. We've been hoping to see some fireworks. Yes. They're coming now. Um, and there's a stoppage, a uh, little discussion, no forearm. Yeah, uh, Masembe uh, has had the better, although uh, Matewa keeps coming. He really does. That was a bit wild from Matewa, just flailing. But uh, he comes back with some solid shots. I think that Masembe is yep. doing well. He, he's that. on top in this round. I, I'd, I'd agree with that. But Matewa still has time to turn he it does. around. And that's a good left over the top from the Botswanan. No, he's getting tagged, though. He is. He is getting tagged. Oh, oh there's oh. a short, powerful right. Both men landing. Action-packed stuff at the end of round two. Uh, everything on the line. This is fury and passion. The winner again, one win from Tokyo 2020 and two shots at that because of the uh, three three spots. Semi-final loss still puts him in the, the box off. It's just got a little bit messy in my Taywa trying to, to land some big shots, but... Uh, just got a bit wrapped up there. That was a really enjoyable round of boxing. And I think Masembe took it for me. I agree. I tell you, we're breathing hard at the end of that one. He took some good shots. He landed some fine punches of his own. But that round has got the Ugandan fans wide awake. Taywa said uh, he, his, his goal in the ring is relax, do my thing, play easy duck and throw perfect punches. He, 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 the easy duck was missing here because of the <laughs> talent of uh, Masambe. Yeah. Seeing some of these highlights, both of these men landing some yeah. really big shots. Yeah. No, this is, this is just what we advertised. Uh, a lot of punching power, speed, and the ability to take punches, both with strong chins. So going into round three, it's uh, it's right here, isn't it? I'm thinking it's all to play for. We haven't seen yep. the scorecards. That's so a we're a little point. bit in the dark. But Masembe's not messing about, no, nor is Matewa. 
They are both going at they it. Are. Some huge they shots are. landed by Mike Taylor. They are. Last one to throw might win this. The Ugandan team, of course, oh, for the ball. That was a big shot from Mike Taylor. It rocked my uh, Masembe. Yeah, but he's back. Oh, another, another big one. left from my Taylor. This really could go either way. Masembe turns him around. But I think my Taywa, the from Botswana, fancies this. Yeah, he seems to have a little more fire right now. Has he decided that he's felt Masembe's best shots and he's just going to come piling forward? Uh, we'll see. It's the first minute he may. You know, it's a question of who has what left in the third round. Yeah, who's got something left in the tank. Stamina starts to come into play. Yeah. Oh, some big oh, punches wow, again. Oh, wow, Masembe's back. I'm right here, he says. Left again from Maitewa. Some of Maitewa's punches have been a little ragged, but he is hitting the target. Masembe the more technically correct, but uh, I, this is close. This is so close. It's the last 90. And Masembe taking care of business, but back comes Matewa. I think it's it's right here in front of us. I really do. Oh, that's good. Left from Matewa. Left, right, back at him. Well, they really are putting everything thing on the line here. The place in the semi-finals up for grabs. Good combination from Matewa. This is a really tough one to call, especially if we don't know the score from yeah, round two. That's right. It uh, <laughs> makes it very difficult. Last minute now. One big flurry. Could so much decisive. on the line. We can't overstate the importance of this last minute. It's tight on the scorecard. Winner into the semifinals. With then two shots at Tokyo. Oh, big left from Maitewa. Has he done enough? Oh, oh it's a good a right from right. Masembe. We'll see. Last 30. Stay tuned. Oh, big right again from Matewa. This has been a fantastic oh, contest. A huge blow from Masembe. Yep. Masembe just doing a bit more scoring I at the end of this. I, oh, yeah, there, right there. But again, we don't know what happened in round two, so it's hard to say who's leading. We agreed Masembe probably won the second round, right? See Masembe just keeping out of trouble at the end, which indicates that perhaps he thinks he's done enough. He is the second seed. That will hear the scores from round two. And Masembe, there's a 10-8 there from Masembe in round two, which I'm puzzled by, but that makes the equation much easier. I think Masembe's done enough. Yes, he has. Uh, that round two scorecard would, would, would it suggest that he's definitely and done enough. And the 10-8, I missed. I missed that during that three minutes. Yeah. Masembe and Okot. Similar styles. They want, both want to come in. Yep. We'll find out the winner. I, I'm thinking it's going to be Masembe. He was ahead by two yeah, points I, on two scorecards. Uh, who knows? I, I better be quiet. We'll just see. And there it is. Yeah, Masembe okay. gets the decision. Yeah, like you, Tom, I'm not sure where that 10-8 came from in round two. But I thought he did win round two, and I thought he won round three. And it he is through to the semi-finals. The Vuvuzelas sound out around this Dakar International Expo Centre. And Uganda have a man in the semi-finals of the featherweights. And he'll face Kenya's Nikakot next. It's an East African derby. Oh, 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 oh. Will be some passion in there, I dare say. Final results. All five.